Welcome to BB's Bookshelf. Today, BB is reading Oh, the Lavas That Flow, all about volcanoes, written by Todd Tarpley. What erupts from below, spitting fire and gases? What gurgles with lava that flows like molasses? I'm the cat in the hat, and I'm here to explain oh, some marvelous facts all about the volcano. Perhaps you are thinking, as everyone knows, volcanoes are mountains from which lava flows. But that is not all. There is more you must see. Let's explore some volcanoes. Come on, follow me. A volcano is a hole in the earth, did you know? It allows heat and gas to escape from below. Earth is quite hot underneath its cool crust, so it must release heat from its mantle. It must. Volcanoes allow it a place to expel hot lava and ash clouds and gases that smell. There is more than one type of volcano. It's true. Come take a look. I will show some to you. A strato volcano has steep sloping sides, a small narrow crater and thick lava slides. This cinder cone type is quite small and less steep. Its crater is wide, but it's not very deep. This odd shield volcano is flat and quite wide. Lava flows farther away down its side. This lava dome looks like a thick blob of tar. Its lava is too thick to erupt very far. Each volcano is different. No one's like the rest. No one is the worst and no one is the best. This massive one here near a town called Pompeii erupted quite suddenly one autumn day. Big stones and hot ash were spewed up miles high. They buried Pompeii as they rained from the sky. For 17 centuries, Pompeii remained buried, forgotten, its fate unexplained. Today we can visit the ruins of the town while well, high overhead the volcano peers down. See, this is Mount Vesuvius in Naples, Italy. This volcano is Etna. It is not small at all. Compared to Vesuvius, it is twice as tall. Etna is active. It blows now and then. It could blow anytime but you never know when. Now people ski down it. Seems strange, but it's true. I might like to try it someday. How about you? Have you ever been skiing? Oh, Bibi loves to go skiing. The great Mount St. Helens in Washington state had a beautiful face till it met its sad fate. Off blew its top and off blew its side. It left a big crater at least a mile wide. And this is Mount St. Helens in Washington State in the United States. Underneath Yellowstone National Park, there's a super volcano that still leaves its mark. It hasn't erupted for thousands of years and won't again anytime soon, it appears. But the mantle below it, where magma is found, still heats water that spouts from a hole in the ground. This is called the Yellowstone Caldera, and it's in Wyoming, United States. A super volcano is super indeed, gargantuan, massive, gigantic, agreed. When Mount Pinatubo erupted one day, most of its crater was blasted away. And this is Mount Pinatubo in Luzon in the Philippines. Within a few weeks, Big rains came and then there was a new lake where its crater had been. Mount Krakatoa was strange as can be. It erupted, then quickly sank into the sea. And this volcano is found in Indonesia. See, sitting pretty one day, they started having some small eruptions. The eruption, and then what's left today? The eruption among the most powerful ever, has any volcano since beat it? No, never. Many volcanoes rise, rise up very high, but their tops never reach an inch into the sky. You may wisely ask then, just how could that be? Well, 
the tips of their tops are deep under the sea. If you think that's amazing, well, trust me, you oughta. Did you know most volcanoes are under the water? This is called a submarine volcano, and they're found beneath the sea level in all of the oceans all over the world. See the fish swimming around this submarine volcano? If you ever go walking down by the South Pole, you may see Mount Erebus during your stroll. See, see the penguin? This is Ross Island in the Antarctica. Edinburgh Castle sits high on the brink. That is a volcano, thank goodness, extinct. This is called Castle Rock and it's in Edinburgh, Scotland. And that's the Edinburgh Castle. On the Isle of Hawaii, this one is found. It's called Mauna Loa. It's flat and it's round. And this volcano is found in Hawaii, which is part of the United States. There are also volcanoes in space, did you know? 400 alone on a moon called Io. Io is a moon that orbits Jupiter. And there are volcanoes, over 400 on this moon. A drum roll now, please, for we're nearing the end. Here's the biggest volcano we know of, my friend. On the planet called Mars, there exists a volcano. So big that you'd say if you saw it, no way no. It's two times as high as the highest on Earth. It's not very steep, but has quite a wide girth. This is called Olympus Mons, and it's on the planet Mars. It's over 350 miles across at the base, and it's so tall, it basically sticks out of Mars' atmosphere. Now we've seen with volcanoes the bad they can do, but there are also good things. I'll now name a few. Volcanoes release so much vapor, you know, that without them, we wouldn't have rain, sleet, or snow. No puddles, no lakes, no oceans or rivers, not even an ice cube. That gives me the shivers. See, the vapor comes up filled with water vapor, it condenses and becomes part of the clouds, and then it drops down as rain or precipitation. It's called the water cycle. They help keep Earth cool. And here's something quite grand. Volcanoes can actually help create land. In fact, many places were formed thanks to lava. Hawaii, Tahiti, Sumatra, and Java. How can you tell whether it's magma or lava? Magma is liquid rock deep down below. Above ground, it's lava. Do you see it flows? Now that we know what volcanoes can do, I have a question I'd like to ask you. Of all the volcan volcanoes we've seen here today, which one is your favorite? How come, would you say? Take your time, think about it, but I'd sure like to know. Until then, I suppose, I'll just go with the flow. The end. Remember to subscribe to BB's channel for more read aloud books.